Hello YouTube community, this is the Jackhammer13, and I'm bringing you the fourth episode and probably the final episode for today because uploading takes a long time, and I really don't feel like sitting here for a blue million years trying to upload stuff. So we're going to go through the third week of April in the year 2002. Hopefully the cutscene will uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin happens this time. I don't know. I keep forgetting to unmute my computer, my TV. The reason why I do this is uh, mainly I have another match against Raven. What? Oh, it's a tables match too. Ugh, God dang. Okay. Anyway, uh, the reason why I do this is not because I don't like having my TV on and stuff. It's just because the sounds too much and it interferes with my watching. Every time after I upload a video, I watch it and make sure that everything ran fine so that in case I screw up somewhere, I can just, you know, explain about it the next time I do it, uh, do a video or something. Uh, so far, I have absolutely no problems. I mentioned the problems that I had if I had any problems, and I think that's about it. So, Rikishi vs. Undertaker in the last man standing, and Rob Van Dam vs. Test in a singles match. I don't know why the two good matches of the night, uh, Billy Kidman vs. Raven and Rikishi vs. Undertaker, are first, and then you have Van Dam vs. Test, which is sort of lackluster, as the last match, but whatever. Al Snow beat Albert, Chris Jericho beat Kane, and The Rock beat Undertaker and Brock Lesnar. So Undertaker's not having a pretty good week. He's going to be pretty mad, and I think he's going to destroy Rikishi. I remember one time I was watching uh, Armageddon Hell in a Cell, the only one to date, if my recollection is correct. It had uh, Kurt Angle, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, Triple H, Undertaker, and Rikishi. And if you haven't seen it, it's a great match. I have the Hell in a Cell disc pack, which has a bunch of Hell in a Cell matches. But Undertaker at one point throws a Rikishi off, pretty much chokeslam style, from the top of the uh, top of the Hell in a Cell, and he lands on Rikishi. That is, lands on top of a, uh, I guess a haystack that was on a truck. If you're wondering, like, what the hell is he talking about? You gotta go watch it, and then you'll understand. Um, this is sort of a plug for WWE, you know, WWE, please sponsor me. Speaking of sponsors, I'm going to be giving another shout out. Um, and the reason why sponsors rang a bell was because the person, Immortal HD, hold on. Alright, I'm back. Um, I just wanted to listen to that, let you guys listen to that. There's not anything in particularly special about it. It just, I think it's a great way to start the video. Or, you know, somewhat start the video. The video's been three minutes long already. But yeah, Immortal HD is the dude that I'm giving a shout out to. He's one of my favorite. You oh my gosh, it's The Undertaker again. Let's go talk to him. But he's one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, and I'm not sure who started it, but he was one of the people who kind of made it popular. Him and uh, Uber Hexter Nova with the uh, sponsor me. Uh, I guess, quote. And he'd be like, yo, company, sponsor me. Because he'll talk about them and his videos or something. Like, I'm going to take a sip of this delicious Pepsi Max. And then he's like, Pepsi Max, sponsor me. Or something like that, you know. What do you want to say to me? This is the same thing. I want your help. You don't want help. You need help. You have it all wrong. Even if you need me, I don't need you. We don't like each other, we never will. I'm not going to waste any more time explaining myself. This match is going to be tough. Um, I think I just got myself involved in a match with Undertaker. Guys, please, please. Oh, look at this! I'm facing uh, Scotty Suhadi and Bubba Ray Dudley. This is wonderful. I got Undertaker in my corner. I wasn't even expecting to be in a match. This is amazing. I don't even... Does this count towards my actual match? Oh, God, I'm getting destroyed. Yeah. All right, so I don't know if this counts as an actual match. I hope to God it doesn't, because if it does, then I don't have that match against Raven, and then I don't get to do a tables match uh, for you guys. Um, why can't I... I'm trying to grab him and put him in a hold, but the game just wants me to do these weird moves.
Uh, tag, tag, tag. Yes. There we go. All right, Undertaker, take care of him while I talk. All right, so yeah, Immortal HD is a pretty cool dude. If you're gonna watch any video, I just got a message on uh, Skype. I was telling my friend about YouTube and stuff, and I saw that I had made a couple of videos and to check them out. Um, so he wants me to send links. So I'm gonna do that. I'm sort of unprofessional. I don't care. But yet, as I'm saying, uh, shit. What was I saying? Uh, Immortal HD. If you're gonna check out any of his channel, like any of the stuff on his channel, I suggest these two things. Number one, Spooky Craft. If you like Minecraft, you're gonna love Spooky Craft. Freaking amazing. He has a, a good storyline behind it. And, oh god, my partner's hurt. Oh, I gotta come in. Come in and save him. I just got attacked. Anyway, but uh, Spooky Craft's pretty cool. He does a lot of, uh, he does a little bit of talking. Not a lot of talking. He does a little bit of talking. And the majority of it, um, is him playing Minecraft and facing any trials and tribulations, i.e. things like uh, werewolves attacking his house. Yeah. He has uh, weird stuff like that. He has the hairbrine mod. It's great. So if you like Minecraft, you're going to love Spooky Craft. And with that being said, the next one is uh, the Battle Block Theater series that he has with Uber Hacks or Nova. You can watch it from either one of their points of views. It's the same exact thing, same exact sound, same exact video. Only difference is it's on one channel and not the other. Um, so yeah, th there's that. So yeah, go check out him. Go check out Uber Hexen over. Go check out all of the creatures. If you don't know who the creatures are, look it up on uh, Google and check them out. So with that being said, we're gonna head and uh, continue with the match. I think I have to be behind him. I don't. I, I don't know. What's what's wrong here? For some reason, it won't let me do my finishing move. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, I just got destroyed. I think Undertaker's about to get uh, beaten. So. Okay, Undertaker. I mean, referee. I'll get out. I'm, you know, I'm not even gonna try the unprettier. It's just too bad of a move. I actually, I think I can, I can edit. Yeah, I'm gonna go edit it. I'm gonna make it a super, a uh, super kick. Screw it. I'm not gonna follow the actual laws and regulations of this game. I'm just gonna go and uh, mess with it the way that the game intended me to. And I just did something I didn't want to do. Oof! There you go, Undertaker. All right, hold on. I gotta do this link thing, my friend. Hold on, I gotta tell them that they're not open yet. They are not online, Cameron. Uh, they're uploading as we speak. As I speak, at least. So, at the point in time when you guys are doing this, you're gonna know that I've already made it. You know, it's happened. Um. No, no! What's the button that calls for a tag? There we go. Uh, pause. Okay, I had black screen. Oh, I figured it out. I figured out what to do. I think to uh to taunt. Yep, there we go. Oh, I'll take you out. Take you back to my house. My house. All right. Hold on, we're gonna get him into the center of the ring and we're gonna steal his finishing move. Because that's just how I play the game. I steal people's finishing moves and I make it look cool. Oh, we steal it! Here comes the worm! The worm as presented by Billy Kidman, the Jackhammer 13 Zone Prodigal Son. And here, Oli, a go! One, two, uh, da, 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 da. bam! Look at that, I love that move. That move is such a fun move. Let's finish him. One, two, three. Yes, you don't get to stop it, Bubba Ray. You don't get to stop it. Hold on. I got to tell my friend that it's the Jackhammer 13. That's my name. Don't wear it out. All right. So that match is over. I helped Undertaker win because I did the worm. 
it's great. Um, so once these videos are uploaded, I more than likely will. Uh, no, once this video is done, I'm just gonna upload the videos. They are already in the process of being uploaded as we speak. Um, other than the one I made last, which was three, and this one. So hopefully that wasn't the match. If that was the match, then that's a bit lackluster of an episode. We only got what, eleven minutes? Come on, eleven minutes isn't enough. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do uh, one week per video, so. I'm not doing one video per week. <laughs> That's stupid, but it's one week per video. Uh, I don't think anybody's here. Alright, time to go check out the places that I didn't check out yet. I'm gonna try and make this as fast as possible because I am on 10 minutes. I'm sitting on 10 minutes. And I don't want it to be too damn long because the last one was like 22 minutes and I don't like that kind of length. And there's the table again. So let's get out of here. There's nothing going on. Uh, action! There we go. I hate the. I hate the visual. That's the only thing I complain about this. It's a great plan. It was a great idea. It just did not work. I think that's probably why they don't have it for uh, the other game. Uh, Here comes the pain. It just it didn't work for it. And is Billy Kidman's nose bleeding? It looked like his nose was bleeding. So that was pretty much a dark match. If you don't know what dark matches are, look it up, kid, and get good. No, um, a dark match is a match that happens before the show, and generally it's dark. But because there are people there, you know, and that's video games way of saying, you know, here's stuff going on. Uh, I just got Undertaker to help me out in a match. And I thought he was pretty pissed at me. So I don't know how that happened. But it did. And that's all that matters. So now we're going to go to the boiler room, see if we can piss off Undertaker again, if he's there. Or piss off Kane, if Kane's there. And I'm saying pissed off a lot. I don't give a shit. Alright, um, about episode 3, might have been 2. I was like, you know, just forget it. I'm not even going to try and refrain from swearing. It's just not me. And if I don't play me, god dang it, there's a thing in the way. If I don't play me, then, you know, I'm not playing the guy that you guys want to see. You guys want to see me from me. And so I'm trying to be a bit more energetic like I generally am. I tried to tone it down a bit for the other videos because they didn't require energy. But at this point in time, I think I need the energy. And I'm kind of getting a tad bit better at it because, like I did, like I said, I've been watching the videos that I'm doing. I went to the stuff room in the boiler room already, so we got to the parking lot. Uh, but I watched the videos that I did, and I was like, these are okay videos, but they don't have the energy. They don't have the uh, shout out, Sly Fox Hound aspect to them, in which you're like, yeah, 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 this guy's awesome. He makes me so freaking happy because he's so energetic all the time. And, you know, even though I don't want to be Sly Fox Hound. Um, I kind of figured if I wasn't somewhat energetic, people are definitely going to be like, this dude just doesn't know what he's doing. We're done. And they leave. Or you would leave. So I decided, here we go. You know, we're just going just gonna to go. Let's just go. Anyway, so we're going down to the SmackDown station. After this video is done, which, uh, yes, I'm good on time. It's still 13. I'm really worried about time. I don't want to be too long and I don't want to be too short. Uh, 15 to 20 minutes is generally good. 10 minutes is the lowest that I think I want to go. But I've gone over 20 minutes on quite a lot of things. I want to sit in the back of the train. I'm definitely going to sit in the back of the train. I'm going to walk around a little bit. This is fun. Alright. Anyway. Um, but yeah, shout out to uh, Slapbox Hound. Like I said, he's a pretty cool dude. And I realized that, you know, I kind of was acting like my mentor. Well, he wasn't really my mentor. He was the dude that I kind of, you know, really like. I watch SSOHPKC. I already gave a shout out to him, but shout out to him anyway. Uh, I was kind of being like him. I added a lot of sarcar sarcastic, whoa, sarcastic, no, sarcastic remarks, and kind of had that dry humor that I enjoy of his. And is there stuff here? Why, guys, guys, no. See, this this is not a lot. God dang it. This is not allowed. You can't be throwing up fire extinguishers and trash cans. Alright, what if somebody needs to extinguish a fire? There's a baseball bat! Guys, what are you doing? What are you doing? I sold you tickets and your face looks ugly, good sir. I sold you guys tickets and now this is how you repay the WWE by throwing crap on the ground? I'm out of here. This is, this is horrible. I'm never coming back to this place again. No, I'm probably going to come back to it. I like riding the Metro. Is a really fun aspect of the game, uh, riding the metro. Uh, they should make just a segment called "Riding the Metro: The Game." Uh, I think that'd definitely make everything better. 
Anyway, I think I've walked around enough. I wasted enough of your time. Let's get to the real match, which will probably take about 17 minutes and make this match, this video rather, 35 minutes long because I'm good at math. I know how to count and calculate the points in time and how long would it take from this metro to crash into the theater? Yeah, 12 seconds because it's freaking right here. It would crash like immediately in that time period. It would take 12 seconds to get it a bit off rail, but at that point in time, you're pretty much crashed in it. It's good. Yeah. Don't ask me for a crash course on how to drive a train, because I'll just crash it into some, like, golf course or something like that. I try to make a funny joke like that, but it's not really funny, and people are like, dude, you suck it off of YouTube. But it's alright. It's cool. Because I understand. So, our first match of the night, or second match of the night, is a tables match against Raven. Yes, I'm sure that I want to play. I might not have checked something, but if I didn't, and you know, the game's just like, nah, 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 you know, it's cool. I'm not talking to... Uh, Vince McMahon, because I know that I'm not ready for any title shot. If I get ready for a title shot, which will probably be a bit after this match, then, you know, at that point in time, I'll go and ask him. I'm not ready for one yet. I want to have a few matches under my belt to realize, you know, this is where I want to be, this is how I want to do this, and this is what I'm doing. We're probably going to go for the Cruiserweight title first, maybe the Hardcore title if I win this tables match and beat Raven for a second time. Because Raven's a pretty cool dude. I don't think Bradshaw will let me have it though, because he's been doing. Well, actually, he hasn't been doing. He hasn't been doing very well. He lost to Big Show in the last match that I remember seeing him in. I don't remember seeing him in any other match. That was the last video. And it's at this point in time in the video. If you have not watched any of the other videos on my channel, I would suggest you do. With this being said, I said that I was going to do a baseball, I guess, series. I'm not quite sure about that. I'm going to check out like which baseball games I have, which baseball games would be good to do that, but I'm not quite sure if I want to do that anymore because my original plan was it to be like MLB The Show 14 or whatever the new one's going to be for a PS4. But then I realized that PS4 doesn't require it requires like other means of recording and I don't know how to do that nor do I want to really learn how because I'm a lazy person. Um, Anyway, but you know, I, I, I'll I figure it out. I'll figure it out, and you guys will uh, be here with me the whole way. And I just got my head slammed against the mat. Attack! Flashback! Go to the top rope! Attack! Flashback! Oh, get kicked in the face! No, I don't want to get kicked in the face. Flashback! No, this is a completely different move. This is called the uh, sleeper hold. Alright, so in this game, you can climb on top of uh, on top of these tables, but it doesn't matter if you smash your opponent through it, because I don't think it ends the match. And if it does, well, then we'll figure it out. Does it match? Does it fit it? Nope, match isn't over. He didn't get KO'd. Like I said, and I just smashed through an announcer's table. These guys are gonna be so mad. This is the first match in which I've ever used a weapon, and I already don't know how to use it. You try to punch me, bro? I know exactly how to reverse you now. I had a couple problems with reversing last game, and you know, that didn't work out very well for me. Um, how do I pick up stuff? Can I RT it? No, I can't RT it. Hold on, let me uh, consult the magical manual of magicalness, and these are the moments you guys are going to hate me for, because I really don't give a shit about this. I'm going to pause it if I want to. Alright. Uh, climb onto desk or table. You can climb on desks? What? Oh, the announcer's table. Uh, they call it a desk. It's not called a desk. You freaking crazy game. You are crazy. Um, so pick up weapon. Yeah, it's R1. There we go. Got the weapon! I apologize for that moment there where I was doing nothing but uh, searching the manual. Get down! See, in the new games, if you hit people with a table, it doesn't take them out that quickly, but you do get an uh, awesome bonus in which it refills your momentum a lot faster. So that's pretty cool. Oh, he just punched me! I don't want you to punch me! Why are all of Little Kidman's moves so, like, lame? 
Like that's a cool move. And his uh his power bomb's a cool move. And this suplex is a cool move. I love this brain buster. Not a suplex, it's a brain buster. Oh god, I just tripped over him! Bam! And the attacks keep raining down from above. Alright, so get him in a headlock, he gets him in the head. Bam! Look at that! That commentating is amazing, guys. I should go out for WWE. They'd probably be like, yeah, dude, you're great! Time for the suplex. Speaking of commentating, and speaking of shoutouts, I actually wasn't speaking of shoutouts. He's trying to hit him. What is this Billy Kidman doing? He's silly. But yeah, there's a. Uh, another thing about Alex, who's Immortal HD, and uh, Uber Hacks or Nova, James. They have, or at least the creatures have, a series called Supercast. If you've not seen Supercast, I highly suggest it. It's one of the uh, top hits of 2001. It's amazing. It's, it's on YouTube. It's called Supercast by the Creature Hub. It's amazing. Uh, it's amazing. Let's see what else can I think about it. Oh yeah, it's pretty amazing. So let me give you a basic rundown of this show. So there's these two people, Uber Hex or Nova, and Immortal HD. It's completely fictional, by the way, in which they are given um, these, I guess, headsets by their father, and their father tells them, "Yo, you guys gotta go make a living. Get out of my house." And then they're like, all right, Dad, we love you. And then he's like, get the fuck off my lawn. And they're like, dude, I'm sorry, brah. And then he's like, get out of here. And they go, okay. So, I forgot. I checked the thing, and it showed. There we go, I have to triangle. Or maybe, maybe it won't let me finishing move on that yet. Um, I don't know. I suppose. Throw it. Yeah! Pick that up! Throw it! Anyway, so it's called Supercast. They got these headsets and they do basically commentating. But it's really funny because one of them is like a major drunk and the other is, uh, like, overly relied. He relies on his brother way too much. And I just did a shooting star press to finish the match. I am a jerk. A jerk, a jerk, jerk. Jerk, a jerk, jerk, jerk. Get it. So, that's now three matches in a row that I've won. I think, at this point in time, I should have been in a robbery with somebody. The game didn't want to do that for some reason. Anyway, I more than likely will be back next time, and I'll probably go for the title. At this point in time, I'm just going to stop recording this. I'll be back to it. Uh, next week is actually my winter break. A lot of people don't have a winter break. It's basically the way that our school makes up for saying, you know, you guys are going to have to go in for like another two weeks during summer. Yeah. And I might be wrong. And Undertaker won the match like I said he would. And I kind of figured Van Damme was going to win. So that kind of went how I wanted it to go and how I expected it to go. Anyway, so yeah, next week is going to be my winter break. Uh, Monday and Tuesday, actually, I'm going to be touring colleges, so I won't be able to record. And then Wednesday, I'm going to be probably just relaxing and recovering and telling my friends about... I was shaking my leg there. Telling my friends about my YouTube channel. Uh, more than likely, if you're watching this and you're one of my friends. If you're not one of my friends and you're some awesome YouTuber who's just, you know, checking out YouTube videos for the hell of it, thank you very much. Uh, this has been the Jackhammer 13. I will see you guys with the next series. I'll probably actually upload uh, some MLB type thing later on today. Uh, if not, I'm sorry. You know, I, I want to. I want to try to. But I don't know if it's going to happen. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Again.